Hello everyone, welcome to TechTed. So in this video, we are going to solve an SQL query. This is from GATE 2015 CS paper. So this is a very simple query and it's indeed possible to not solve the whole query and still get the answer. And we'll also go through the entire query so that you understand how things work. Now, um, so what we have here are two relational schema with data. So we have student table and performance table. So student table has two attributes, roll number and student name. The roll number is your primary key. Performance table has roll number, course and marks. And roll number and course together is your primary key here. Okay. Now let us see what the question, uh, I mean the query asks you to do. So it says select the name of the student, student name and the sum of their marks from these two tables, so student table and performance table. So this from actually will be giving you the Cartesian product of these two tables. And then we have this where condition. So we have, we are actually matching the roll number from both the tables. That will ensure that we get a natural join between these two uh, tables, student table and performance table. So from this two things, so from from clause we get the Cartesian product and over that the where clause is giving you the natural join. And this is a simple aliasing of the table, student table is being renamed as S and performance is being renamed as P for this particular query. What we are also doing here is grouping the data by student name. So that is the interesting thing about this query. So we are not grouping the data by the roll number which is actually the primary key. But what we are doing, we are grouping the data by the name of the student. Okay. So now you can see that even if there are information about three students, roll number one, two and three, but this grouping group by will actually give you two groups because, because there are only two distinct student names. So Raj and Raj, both these students are named Raj. So they will form a single group. Am I clear? So uh, we are not grouping them by the roll number, which is actually distinct for all the three students. We are grouping their information according to their names. And we have only two different names with us, Raj and Rohit. So that's why when this query is being run and the final question was to uh, ask you to give the, the number of rows written by this query. So what will be the number of rows? So what will be the number of rows returned by this query and the answer will be 2 because we have only 2 distinct student names. Okay. So now let us go inside the query and try to see what will be our intermediate result so that things becomes more clear. So um, after this particular step like after doing the Cartesian product and over that ensuring that the roll number from the bo both the sides are same. So that is the natural join of these two tables. So what will be the result of the natural join of this table? So let me write it down. Okay, so this will be the result of the natural join. So I have kept the same ordering as in table 2 that is a performance table. And what we have here is from the left hand table like the student table we are getting the roll number and student name and from the performance table we are also getting roll number, course and marks information. And we have ensured that for each of the row this roll number from the student table and roll number from the performance table are same. Okay. So now what we are next doing is doing the group by. So once we do the from, then the where, then next we do the group by. So when we are doing the groups, we are doing it using student name. So let's say we have two students, Raj, uh, means two different student names, Raj and Rahit. So this, let's say we have group A, we are forming group A and group B. So basically this particular uh, rows which corresponds to Raj they will all go into group A and the rows corresponding to student name Rohit will go into another group let's say that is group B. Okay, So that will be the grouping done by this group by statement and finally after this grouping is done what we are doing is we are extracting the student name and the sum of the marks for each of this group. 
so what we finally will be getting is um, we have is dot student name and uh, we have sum of the marks okay so as we can understand that for the first group group a the student name is raj and there are four different rows corresponding to student raj and we will be summing up all the marks there so if you sum all these four uh, different rows the marks you will get 310 and the second group the student name is rohit and the sum will give you uh, value 140 so this will be the final result which will be shown by this query and so the number of rows which you will get is uh, the number of rows is 2 so that's why the answer to this particular query uh, answer to this question is 2 so i hope this was clear to you it's a very simple query and i have already shown you how you can actually uh, get the answer without solving this query like this in detail so okay so let us discuss some more queries and examples in our next videos so see you in the next video thank you for watching if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to tech Tut.